Oke, okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrabil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi washabihi ajmain. Amma ba'd. Alhamdulillah today it will be the second day of proposal seminar and then we are going to have the second contender. And we have Ainan Salsabila here. Yeah. Ainan Salsabila, you are the second student yeah, uh, that got the proposal seminar with me. And then you're from class of 2018. Yeah, from class of 2018. And then your advisor is, who is it? Who is it? Your advisor? Yes. Miss uh, Mutiarani. Miss Mutiarani. Okay, your advisor is Miss Mutiarani. And then uh, your title here it is about okay wait a second I'm still opening the okay your title here it is self-regulated learning strategies of EFL students in mastering speaking proficiency okay so that will be your title and then your advisor is Miss Mutiarani. Uh, before we are going to start this proposal seminar, let recite Basmalah together. Yeah, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, I hope you're going to give a clear, comprehensive kind of explanations based on the complete proposal that you already created and then that already got the approval from your advisor. And it should be a comprehensive kind of elaboration, starting with the first chapter, second chapter, and then also last chapter or the third chapter. Yeah. And if you already watched the previous proposal seminar, you're going to be noticed that uh, you're going to have a time to explain your uh, PowerPoint. And then after that one, you're going to get the questions. Yeah. And then uh, if we have much time we're going to talk to you about your complete proposal. Okay, Ainan Salsabila, uh, best of luck in giving the explanation and then time is yours. Come on. Okay, sir. So that screen, say screen, it's you or me? Oh, me. It's you, yeah, come on. Okay. Okay. It is enough, sir. Okay, you may make it full screen, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is better. Yeah. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Aina Sasabila from the class of 2018. And today I'm going to present my thesis proposal with the title is Self-Regulated Learning Strategies of EFL Student in Mastering Speaking Proficiency. And let's uh, let's for the first chapter in the next slide. Okay, in the chapter one is background of study and why I conduct this research. Uh, firstly, uh, English is obviously important that must be mastered by the student. And beside this, in English learning and teaching uh, in Indonesia, to build the mastery of uh, English ability is necessary to apply English learning among uh, each level of education, starting from elementary school to university level. And there are four skills that must be mastered uh, by the student in English, uh, such as uh, speaking, listening, reading, and also writing. Externally in the speaking, most of students complain about communication to English since they already have a negative mindset how to uh, produce speaking easier. And beside this, there are uh, the factor that cannot influence the student speaking skill, such as the student environment of EFL countries are not given the opportunity or not support uh, for students to practice their speaking. And so that uh, makes students unmotivated to continue uh, develop the speaking proficiency. And secondly, is student poor of pronunciation. 
Uh, in the fact, speaking English with a perfect pronunciation is very fun to make a mistake. Uh, sometimes, most students of EFL countries are embarrassed to pronounce it because they cannot uh, pronounce English well, and it and it causes students feel uh, scary to not develop their speaking skill, especially in English. And then, uh, as a result, uh, speaking is one of the greatest obstacle that uh, must be resolved to make it easier when speaking class. By using the appropriate strategy, it is certainly good to be applied to um, to teach the student in order to learn effectively and efficiency. By using the self-regulated learning strategies, uh, it is uh, the strategies that suitable for all level of education, except for uh, below of third grade of elementary school. Specifically, this strategy is a cognitive uh, learning approach, which uh, student uh, more uh, motivated with this strategy. And because this strategy, uh, students are free from teacher regulation. So the student can learn independently and can improve their learning outcomes. And then uh, in the next slide, yeah. Is it about the chapter two, about the theories? I will mention three theories in here. The first one is about speaking. The second one is about the self-regulated learning strategies and also uh, about the EFL, English as a Foreign Language. The first one is about the speaking. According to Bailey in 2021 said that uh, speaking or oral proficiency is an interactive activity in which a speaker can produce, receive, and analyze uh, information in order to construct a meaning. Therefore, it's mean like speaking a systematic verbal uh, that people use to communicate among each uh, other, uh, among diversity culture in the world. And secondly, is self-regulated learning strategies. According to El Saka in 2020, in 2016, state that uh, self-regulated learning strategies were described as a set that the speaker employed to manage their speaking proficiency. And meanwhile, according to Paris and Byrne in 2021, state that students who have self-regulated learning strategies are students who have plan, uh, evaluate, and regulate their learning process. Uh, it's mean like self-regulated learning strategies are the activity uh, in which individual will learn activity actively, uh, starting from planning, controlling, and also evaluate the learning uh, process. But the learning outcome are, control, are still controlled by the teacher. And it is recommended for the teacher of EFL countries that uh, want to mass, that want to uh, try this strategy. And also, according to Zimmerman in 2016, uh, uh, said that they are advantaged by using this strategy, such as the uh, train student to study independently, and the student can create uh their learning in challenging stimulate and fun learning so the student can uh high motivation when uh, learning english and then uh, they are disadvantaged by using this strategy such as the in like in track uh interaction between the student and not all students can adapt with these strategies because uh they they need to study partner, yeah. And the third one is about the EFL, English as a Foreign Language. According to Yoko Iwe in 2019, said that EFL or English as a Foreign Language is related to people who learn uh, English uh, in the country that do not speak English. It's or it's mean like uh, English is not the daily conversation for this nation, yeah. And in this, in the next slide, it's about the method and the procedures. 
The first one is about time and place of the study. Okay, the this study will be conduct at SMK Darul Ulum Depok, which located at uh, Bojong Sari Depok, and the study will be conduct at each meeting. And method of the study. This study will be used a quantitative research method with a pre-experimental design. And the population and the sample, uh, the population is used a uh, 10 grade of SMK Darul Ulum Depok. And the sample is, uh, this study will take one class as a sample, uh, including the class of 10 BDPA. Yeah, and the technique to uh, of uh, collecting the data. Uh, there are procedure in technique of collecting the data, uh, such as a pre-test, uh, treatment, and also post-test. In the pre-test, the teacher asks to the student to speak uh, randomly with the random topic in two minutes. And the treatment, uh, the student can practice uh, by using uh, this strategy, such as uh, the first one is the teacher uh, explain to the student about uh, self-regulate learning strategies. And also the teacher uh, asks to the student task to talk with the topic that was given. And the student prepare it uh, independently and make a video as a result and collect it to the teacher. And the teacher uh, and the teacher will be give the student direction such as a comment and also a praise. And, and yeah, like that. So uh, in the last one is about the post test. Yeah, post test is similar to pre-test. The researcher will be asked to the student to uh, to talk with a profile topic in two minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Do you have any question? Thank you very much, Ainan Salsabila, for giving us the explanation of your complete proposal. Now let's try to break down your first chapter. Go to the first slide, please. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, to the title, the first slide. This is the first chapter. Oh, the yeah. first slide. I'm sorry, sir. Okay, thank you very much. My first question to you, my dear Ayran Salsabila. Yes. Uh, from your title here, you're mentioning about self-regulated learning strategies of EFL students in mastering speaking proficiency. Uh, my first question, I want you to please try to explain what is it that you mean by a self-regulated learning? Strategies. What is it? Oh yeah, self-regulatory strategies is the, the strategies that student can plan, can uh, evaluate, can controlling uh, or the designing their learning uh, material. Yeah, but the learning uh, outcomes are still controlled by the teacher. Yeah, like that still. Okay, so that was self-regulated learning strategies. According to your explanation, it is strategies that used by the students yeah, to learn yeah. speaking, right? And then as the researcher, you're going to conduct this research yeah, without, what is it? Yeah, without self-regulated uh, learning strategy, strategy itself here, how? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. How did you gonna manage? Uh, you think you're going to conduct the research and then after that one, the student, they can use any kind of the strategy that they want. Can you see my point? You're the one, the researcher, yeah? And then, hello, can you hear my voice clearly? Yes, yeah, yeah, sir, yes. 
Okay, based on your definition of self-regulated learning strategy, you are mentioning this strategy used by the student, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is it that you are going to propose for your students? Because you are the researcher, yeah? It yeah. seems like you are not gonna do anything for these students because this based on their own kind of strategies, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, can you answer that one, please? Yeah. Um, uh, the purpose is student uh, use this strategy will be have a motivation yeah because uh according to uh in my opinion when uh, we speak in front of uh the class is uh we we insecure of other people who speak uh better than 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 us and then we well, we nervous we very nervous yeah according me use self-regulated learning strategies is suitable for a student who have high motivation to continue uh, develop that speaking skill and then the student uh, uh, don't, don't, don't need to nervous and uh, have a relax when study okay you're not getting my point now my point here talking about self-regulated learning strategies, you're mentioning this strategies you belong to the students, any kind of strategy that they can use in learning speaking, right? So right. what is it as the researcher that you're going to propose for them, okay? We have the, stu the student here learning about speaking and then they have their own kind of uh, learning strategy. And then you come here as the researcher. What you're going to do with them? They already got their strategy. And then we can call that one a self-regulated learning strategy. And then what you have to do here as the researcher. That's my point. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I will uh, controlling the, the student uh, in the give the student direction. Uh, and uh, if the student uh do not don't understand about the topic that was given the student will be a uh, will ask to me as a researcher in here it's mean uh i'm as a researcher i help two student to uh to uh, control or to uh to 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 speak yeah to speak uh to help students to uh, designing their learning material. Yeah, so just it. Okay, thank you very much. So you are going to control them based on your answer. You're the one that controlling them. They really yeah. got their self-regulated learning strategy. And then this as R, L, S here belong to them. So you're not proposing this kind of strategy now. Yeah. Because you're the one doing a controlling, that's what you claim on it. Okay, maybe after this one, uh, you gonna consider talking, yeah, do a consultation with your advisor about this one. You're going to implement this as your alternative solutions, or you're the one that only controlling the process of learning by the students. Yeah. Okay. That will be the first uh, question. Second question. Uh, my question here, why the speaking proficiency? Yeah, And then uh, you're mentioning also EFL students. What is it? The relevance between EFL students and then also speaking proficiency. Come on. OK. Speaking proficiency is uh a uh, systematic verbal that a uh, student must master in learning English. And the related to self-regulated learning strategies uh, is the, uh, this strategy is suitable for all level of education. And then this strategy is a gift to student free from teacher regulation. Yes, like that. 
And the student can learn speak independently to improve their speaking proficiency. Yes, sir. Okay. And then since it is about EFL students, so it's mean it will be only English for foreign language students. A specific class that they learn English on it, right? Right. Okay, so a specific class that learn English on it. So not a common class that you can use in a random school. A specific class that yes, learn yes. English. Hmm? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, let's proceed to the next slide. Second slide, please. Second slide. Yeah, okay. there we go. On chapter one, uh, based on your explanation, you're mentioning many things about uh, your background of this study. I want you to please try to make one kind of, uh, what is it? One kind of case, one kind of procedure. How did you create it, your first chapter? Come on. The procedure, sir. Yeah, how did you create your first chapter, the procedure of it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the procedure is the procedure about the self-regulated learning strategies. Uh, okay, wait uh, a second. Wait a second. Not the procedure of self-regulated learning oh. strategies. The procedure in making chapter one based on your title. That's the questions. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Uh, I conduct this research because uh, by because uh, this strategy is uh, learn to uh, all people of in EFL countries. And then, uh, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, in this chapter, I will mention the uh, the factor that cannot influence the student speaking skill, and also by using this strategy, I recommend it by using this strategy. It's certainly good to be applied in order to run effectively and efficiently. Yeah, like that, sir. Okay, what do you mean here? Making your first chapter based on your title. Yeah, we can see, for example, first point that you try to elaborate here is about English language. That will be the first point. And then second one, you go with the four skills. Yeah, in English language. And yeah, then that skill. one, you go with the skill that you chose for your research here, yeah, which is speaking. Right. Yes, speaking. And then after that one, you come also with the dead time and tech yeah, yeah. about speaking skill. Yeah. And then the dead time and tech about speaking skill here, yeah, it can be shown in a percentage based on your interview or based on the task or based on the observations, dead time pack. Yeah, and then that one, since you were mentioning it is EFL, so you're going to put also EFL and then speaking on it. Yeah, and yeah. then that one, the problem in teaching speaking, what will be the problems? Yeah, and then yeah. that one, what kind of the reality yeah, that you face while teaching your student about speaking? And then after elaborating all of it, and then you come with your alternative solutions. You're proposing here this self-regulated learning strategies, right? Yeah. Okay. right. So you, you're going to come with, what is it? Self-regulated learning strategy. How this strategy can solve the problem of speaking. You know, the step of it. And then why did, why did you claim this strategy here can enhance or can improve the speaking mastery of the students? Okay. And then after that one, you can come with the conclusion based on the big round, that you elaborate starting with this language and then that one for skill and then that one skill that you chose and then that one the dead hand and pack of the skill the problem of the skill and then the alternative solutions and then finally you can mention based on the background of this study the researcher yeah, the researcher want to conduct a study entitled blah 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 do you see my point 
Yeah, sir. I see. Yeah, that way. Yeah, I know. And then I hope your complete proposal it will be that way. Okay. Okay. Sir. And my last question for chapter one, I guess, based on previous proposal seminar that attended by your friends and then also uh, your senior, majority of them calling, okay, we are conducting this research because uh, we found many kind of problems. Yeah, and then uh, the problems you need to be solved. And then what is it, your main, yeah? and then different kind of reason you don't have to repeat the same kind of reason with your previous man or with your previous senior, please. What is it? Your main choosing self-regulated learning strategies and then also EFL students and then after that one, mastering speaking proficiency. Come on. Okay. Uh, I choose the study because uh, to help students uh, to motivate to continue that learning speaking and then uh, self-regulated learning strategies uh, I uh, and EFL I choose because uh, 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 the people who learn English is uh, it is the sample yeah, sir, of EFL uh, of EFL it is a uh, example or EFL or the student who learn uh, self regulate learning strategies. That's all? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much. So you are not giving a testing tip kind of reasons, yeah? What I need you to explain, for example, okay, sir, if the previous research, if the previous study, they're focused on this one, this one, this one. And then my focus on this research will be this one, this one, and then this one. That's why we have the difference between the previous research and then with my research, sir. That's what I need you to answer, my dear Ayanan Salsavila. Ah, okay, now let's go with your second chapter then, please. Second chapter. There we go. Talking about theory itself. Uh, before we're going to discuss about the group of theory that you use to support your research, I'd like to ask you first here, how did you build the theory? Yeah. How did you build the theory here to support your research? Come on, that will be my first question for you. How did you build the theory to support your research, please? Yeah. Yeah, uh, because this theory is uh, very related, yeah, from another theory uh, that uh, from my, for my thesis proposal and and I, uh, I more uh, understand using this theory about the other theory. <laughs> okay, what is it? You are mentioning this theory, and then you are mentioning about the other theory. What, are, what will be the theories that you use? Come on, how did you build the theory? What do you mean by how did you build the theory? You can start explaining. Okay, sir, my focus of the research here, it will be about speaking. So yes. first of all, yeah, first of all, I'll try to gather every single pack, every single theory that mentioning speaking skill. Yeah? And then the other aspect of my theory here, yeah, it will be a self-regulated learning strategy because that will be my alternative solution on it. Yeah? Yeah. So first, the problem here, it is referred to the speaking. And then the solution here it is referred to self-regulated learning strategies. And then for this research, sir, since it is for EFL students, I'm going to conduct this research in a class specifically for those that learn English. That way, you can explain how you are going to build the theory on it. OK. <laughs> Okay, sir. Okay, the next one now, a theoretical framework. Do you mind, please? Yeah, your theoretical framework. 
trying to explain it, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, I made a di diagram for the theoretical framework. The first uh, diagram is about the pretest, and also the the second di diagram is about the uh, the treatment will be uh, conduct conduct at sick meeting, and also in the last diagram is about the post test and a result. Uh, Will uh, self regulated planning strategies will effective or not? Yeah, like that, sir. Okay, now it is your sign. Yeah, your statement on the first, on the beginning of this proposal seminar, you're mentioning you're only controlling the yeah, yeah. process. And then, based on your theoretical framework, you are mentioning you are the one that can implement self-regulated learning strategy. So which one is the truth here? It is your first statement that you are mentioning you're going to control. And then, second one, your statement, you are mentioning you are going to conduct a treatment for that. Come on, which one? The first, the first statement, sir, the first statement. Okay, so there will be no treatment for that. Yeah. What is it? Hmm? Uh, the teacher, the the researcher will mm -hmm. uh, control to the student to uh, their practice by using self-regulated learning strategies. And then you are not the one gonna implement self-regulated learning strategies for the students. Yeah. It is the teacher. Yeah, the teacher. And not the student, but uh, the student is uh, regulate of uh, self learning strategies such as, such as the student plan, the student evaluate, uh, no, evaluate the control, and also the student designing their learning material. But uh, the teacher, the teacher uh, just control the student, uh, the student um, strategist or the student uh, task, yeah. Okay, that's what you have to consult one more time with your advisor, yeah? yeah. And then ask your advisor, okay, miss, uh, the examiner, yeah, taught me to ask this one. I'm gonna do a treatment or I'll just be a supervisor, yeah? I'll just be the observer for this research or I'm going to be the one giving the treatment. Yeah, you gotta ask your advisor. Okay, Ainan. Okay. And then next one, uh, talking about the theory, talking about the theory itself. Yeah. yeah there are three main theories that you're going to yeah. use, right? Do you have any other theories that you're going to use to support your research here? Yeah. Okay. Can you mention it, please? Do not mention the three main reference or three main theories, yeah? First theory here is about speaking, of course, because this is the skill that you chose. And then second one, it is of self-regulated learning strategies. Of course, that will be your alternative solutions. And then uh, next one, it is about the EFL students. Yeah? Okay, come on. Can you mention it? The other theories that you're gonna use to support. Come on. Okay, okay. the first one is speaking. Speaking uh, according to- <laughs> Okay, let me repeat it. Yeah, I told you, you don't have to mention three main theories, right? Yeah, okay, right. my question, do you have any other theories that you're going to use for this research besides the three theories that we already discussed? That's the question, come on. Oh yeah, uh, there is sir, but I do not remember because uh, they're uh, on my thesis proposal. I just remember the three uh, okay. that is. Okay, so you have uh, an extra kind or additional kind of theory that can support your research, but uh, you cannot mention it now because uh, you wrote that one on your complete proposal. Then. Okay, uh, that's okay. Now let's go with your last chapter. Third chapter, please. There we go. Uh, method of the study or method and procedure of the study, uh, it will explain how do you're going to conduct, how 
Hello. Hello, hello, sir. What happened? Why it suddenly? Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, come on. Wait a second. Someone that opening my uh, Zoom, I guess. Okay, my last question for you, Dan. Hello. Hello, sir. Okay, my my last question. I'm really sorry, someone that breaking and then using my account, I guess. Okay, my last question for you. I want you to please try to explain in details, yeah, the process, the method that you are going to use for this research. Come on. Okay. Uh, this research will be uh, conducted at SMK Darulung Depok and uh, we'll conduct it in each meeting. The first uh, meeting for a pretest and the H, uh, a sick meeting to the treatment and also one meeting also for, for the first test. And the method of the study use a quantitative research method with the pre-experimental design. And the sample uh, using one class as a sample in the class of the 10 of BDPA. Yeah. And the technique of collecting the data, they are procedure uh, such as the the first one, the teacher uh, explain to the student to uh, uh, using this strategy what is self-regulated learning strategies, and also the teacher asked to the student to uh, make a. Uh, Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. In the technique of collecting data, there are three. The first one is pre-test, treatment, and also post-test. In the pre-test, the researcher will be uh, asked to the student to uh, talk with the random topic in two minutes. And then in the treatment, the researcher will ask to the student to uh, make a video as a test and the student uh, and the student can plan their uh, their speak in their video, and the teacher give to the student direction about the about the um, about the uh, such as about the speaking, such as the comment and also praise, and also uh, in the post test, the researcher will be asked to the student to, uh, it is similar to the pre test, uh, in the student will, will speak in two minutes with a profile topic. Yeah. Sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, thank you very much. I know I'm Salsa I guess that's enough for your proposal seminar. And now to get your complete revision, you're gonna come and then I'm gonna give you this one for your uh, revisions. Okay, Aina? Okay? Uh, use set screen or not, sir? No, 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 that's okay. That's enough. You're gonna come to my room and then I'm gonna give your complete proposal based on the revisions. Okay. 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 And then thank you very much for attending our today's proposal seminar. Let's close and end this proposal seminar here by reciting Hamdala. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Best of luck for your revisions. And then the last Wallahualhadiwasabilurasad. Sumasalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.